Let's take a look at what this guy, Aristotle, from way back in ancient Greece, has to say about convincing people of whatever you want them to believe. Now, if you want to convince him to join your claim, there are three different areas he came up with, three different rhetorical appeals. Rhetoric is the art of argument, and if you want to be successful at convincing people, then you've got to master each of these three. Now we're talking about pathos. You might recognize pathos from words like sympathetic or empathetic. Pathos has to do with feelings or emotion. And it can be a really powerful way to get people on your side if you can convince them emotionally that they should care about what you have to say. Now, pathos is a little bit more challenging than logos, but it's going to be more effective if you can get people on your side by caring about what you have to say and connecting emotionally with your claim and with your message. Here are a few examples that I found of pathos being used in the wild. A lot of times you'll see images of children or of animals to get you on board because these are universally considered things that we should care about. But sometimes you want to appeal to different emotions. That could be sadness, joy, fear, anger. There are plenty of ways to get people to feel a certain way. They're going to get them on board for believing what you have to say. So make sure you work on the tone of your message so that you can get people on board emotionally because they'll have a stronger investment.